Crew AI. If you want to get to grips with AI agents, you're in the right place. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have kickstarted your own autonomous team of AI agents ready to do your bidding. I'm going to show you how to get Crew AI set up and running in just a few minutes. Okay, so this is the Crew AI website. So it's developing at a great rate. I've been watching this over the last couple of months and you can see um, it evolve. So essentially what's interesting to us is the framework. Um, there's also the documentation and then you can actually chat with the docs, which is pretty cool. Okay, so first off, let's take a quick look at the docs. So there's some great guides here. You can get the core concepts broken down. So you have an agent, which is an autonomous unit that is actually carrying out the task and making decisions and can also communicate with other agents. And then you have the actual task itself. So these are specific assignments and they're carried out by those agents and they can use different tools. And then you have the tools themselves. So maybe you want to browse the web as part of the task. Maybe you want to crawl a particular website. There's many different tools that you can take advantage of. So you can see here available crew AI tools, docs, search tool, directory search for your file system, RAG enabled. Um, this is for searching the web. This is the one we're going to use in the tutorial. This is the most important page for us. It's the um, GitHub repository. So you can see it's actually a really good readme here and a how to get started. We're actually going to follow the getting started tutorial here and we can click to how to guides and uh, getting started. OK, so what do we need for crew AI to run? We're going to need Python, pip and a few other tools as well. If you haven't got Python downloaded, you can download it here. Um, the latest version is Python 3.12, which should run fine with crew.ai. You can also use a package manager or use an environment tool like Conda or a virtual environment, whatever suits you. So you can run this entirely in your terminal or your PowerShell, but I'm going to use VS Code in this case because we're going to do some code editing and it has a terminal built in. So if you haven't got VS Code or you don't know what it is, essentially it's a code editor. You can download it for Windows, Mac, uh, etc. Okay, so I've just opened VS Code and we want to create a folder on our desktop or wherever you like and then add it to VS Code. So I've already done that. I've called it Crew version 3 and you just go to File and open the folder from wherever you have it stored. Next thing we want to open the terminal, you can click this button here and it should open this little box here. So let's take a look at the instructions. Let's scroll down here. So first we're going to use pip and pip is a package manager for Python. You can also download that if you don't have it. So let's hit copy and then go back to VS Code and we're going to paste that command in there, pip install crew. So that's going to pull down crew AI from the registry. OK, great. So all those packages have downloaded. Um, let's take a look what's next. We also want to install the crew AI tools. So if you want to be able to search the web or browse your file system, that's what we call that's what we call a tool. So we want to make sure those are installed as well. So let's go back to our terminal, hit return. OK, great. That's installed. So let's take a look back. OK, so next thing we want to do is copy this starter code here. So let's just hit the copy button here. So next we're going to come up here and we're going to create a new file. Let's call it startcrew.py. And in this file, we are going to paste in that starter code. So don't be overwhelmed by all the code that's listed here. It's actually really quite simple once you break it down. So uh, up the top here, porting the concept of agent and task. And we're also going to be importing a crew AI tool, which is the Serper dev tool. So Serper essentially allows us to browse and crawl the web so our agent has access to the internet. Next up, we're going to use an OpenAI key. So let's go to platform.openai. Then we can go to API keys. And then we're going to create our secret key and we're going to copy this key so here we can paste in our api key now we need our serper api 
There's two different versions of Serper, but the one we want here is serper.dev. So you're going to sign in. So with Serper, you'll get a certain amount of requests for free and a certain amount of credits. So go up here to get your API key and you can copy that. And then we're going to paste that right in here and click save. Okay, so this is the next concept. We're defining our agents. So to simplify it, think of an agent as somebody within an organization that's a particular expert at a particular task. So in this case, we're defining something, someone called a, a senior research analyst. And their goal is to uncover cutting edge developments in AI and data science. And then you can give it a little prompt or a backstory, giving it a little bit more detail. So this is very similar to custom GPT instructions or uh, any kind of custom instructions you might use to be included in the context window when you're talking with ChatGPT. You can set the responses to be verbose. So in the terminal, you'll be able to see what's going on. And then you're telling it that it can use the search tool. There's other attributes you can pull in, of course, but that's outside of the scope of this tutorial. So again, we have a second agent, which is a tech content strategist. And the idea here is it can craft compelling content on tech advancements. So you can see here that this agent is the one that's going to be doing the research, and then it will pass that research to a content strategist will actually form um, the basis of our story. So this one has access to the search tools, whereas this one does not need that access. And we've allowed delegation set off here because we don't have a complex process. This is a simple chain. There's multiple other types of process that you can set up. You can allow for delegation, you can have hierarchical, you can have sequential, and you can have asynchronous processing. But again, let's just focus on simple execution for getting started. Next up, we have the concept of the actual task. So task one, as we see it here, is to conduct a comprehensive analysis of the latest advancements in AI in 2024. And then we have an expected output and we're telling it that the person carrying or the agent, we're telling it that the agent carrying out this is the researcher, which we've defined up above. The second task then is to using all the insights, we wanna develop an engaging blog post and this is more suited to the agent writer because the agent writer we've defined as somebody who can craft compelling content and we've given it that backstory as well. So you can now begin to see the importance of using different agents who have different specialties and different access to different tools. So once we've all that done, we instantiate the crew. So the crew being our team of agents. So we have the agents defined as researcher and writer, and we have the tasks as task one and two, and we're setting the logging to being verbose. So we're gonna see as much detail as possible to understand what's happening and maybe what's even breaking. And then to get your crew to work, we're basically instantiating crew.kickoff, and then we're gonna print out the result. So we should be good to go. So let's hit save. Control S. Okay, so everything should be good to go. Let us go up here and open our terminal again. Make sure we're in the correct folder. And okay, let's get ready to go. So all we need to type in is Python. Now I'm going to open up our terminal here so we can see everything that's going on. We're kicked off. We've got a working agent, senior research analyst. Let's follow with it. Starting the task, conducting a comprehensive analysis of the latest advancements in AI. Okay, so it's entering a new chain. Okay, so to conduct a comprehensive analysis of the latest advancements, so this is our response. The action is to search the internet and they're running a search query for the latest advancements in AI 2024. Okay, so here we're getting the search result titles coming back. So these are, obviously we're using the Serper API now and we're actually uh, crawling the web. And now after all that research, it now has its final answer. So here's the comprehensive analysis of the latest advancements, multimodal AI, smaller language models, automation and machine learning. So once all the research is done 
Uh, it says the search results provide insights into API driven advancements in 2024. I'll gather the key points and then start writing the blog post with collected information. So with all the necessary information gathered, I can now write the blog posts. So here's our final answer. Navigating the AI advancements of 2024, an informative guide finishes its chain and it gives us our output title, Navigating AI Advancements. And here is our article. So in that basic tutorial, we got it set up and running and we used one tool, which was the Serper API to search the web. So congratulations, you've got your first crew of agents running on a task. Now that task was quite basic, but here's where it gets pretty cool. Look at the tools that you've got at your disposal. You can use all these different tools to do multiple different things like website scraping, searching through YouTube, XML search, CSV, PDF search. Not only that, but you also have access to a whole load of Langchain based tools as well. It's worth taking a look also at the examples. So there's actual code examples here for how to create Instagram posts, do stock analysis, do games generation. I would suggest you go through a few tutorials next, understand the tools that are available. And that's when this gets really powerful. You can start to think about the workflows, tasks and jobs on your daily basis that you could start applying agents to. So I'm impressed by QAI and how it's developing. If you've got the time, consider contributing to the project and investigating any of the discussions that are going on on uh, GitHub. If you're interested in building out features, projects, or startups with AI, give me a follow and I'll try and deliver as much value as I can. If you've any trouble with the setup of Crew AI, please let me know in the comments and I'm gonna do my very best to reply to as many as I can.